What's going on, Wacky Cat? We're going through the WWE 2K23 rating system right now, and this gets the people riled up because a lot of the ratings, even the superstars, don't agree with. Uh, last year, I complained about the ratings. The ratings was horrible. I, I mean, it didn't make any sense. It was kind of disrespectful for some of the superstars, especially the legends, to be rated so low. But regardless, uh, so far, I will have to say, from what we've seen, because I'm making this video Wednesday morning. So Wednesday, we're supposed to get later today, we're supposed to get a, uh, a, 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 by the time I upload this video, it probably already happened, more superstars getting uh, revealed of their ratings. Now, uh, there's a lot of people getting a, a lot of excitement and, and controversy about Sami Zayn. Before we continue the video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. Let's get to the road of 2000 subscribers. Let's go. Being his rating and hit, let me see his rating. His rating is 84. Uh, I will say that's a accurate rating for uh, Sami Zayn. Uh, Sami Zayn has been a real top character in the product. He just recently went against Roman Reigns and Elimination Chamber, uh, had a great match, but, uh, as far as his inner because listen the rating system is going off your in ring in my opinion is going off your in ring skills your what did you, what have you done that previous year what was you doing that previous year was you having not i mean and for the most part until he fought roman reigns and this is just my opinion he wasn't really having that many top matches over it. I mean, not just what, a year or two ago, he was fighting Johnny Knoxville. He, lo he lost to Johnny Knoxville at WrestleMania. So, uh, I, I, you know, I like Sami Zayn, but 84, I mean, you got to give it to him. 84, it's a, it's a respectable rating. So, so far, the ratings I've seen are kind of accurate to what that wrestler done in 2022. That's my that's how I'm thinking about it, the ratings. Like the NBA 2K ratings. NBA they go off what that uh, NBA player did that ye that following year. So we're going off what they did. Now, granted, here's the thing, I just my biggest complaint though with the ratings is that they give for the most part in previous years, they gave legends that don't wrestle anymore low ratings. Uh, so, like, Andre the Giant will be lower, like, 88 or something like that. That's ridiculous. Uh, and other wrestlers will be low, low rate. Like, whenever you have a legend in the game, and his rating should be his prime rating. His top rating he was when he was in his prime at the uh, wrestling event, like Batista, Batista is an 88. He'd be an 88 a lot of the times when, you know, he's a legend. He don't really wrestle no more and he'd be low rated. He needs to be higher, at least a 90, a 92. So, uh, but anyway, from, from what I'm seeing so far, the ratings look respectable. AJ Styles, a lot of people are, uh, you know, really don't like the fact that AJ Styles is an 89. Now, AJ Styles wasn't really doing much in 2022 uh, as far as winning big matches and stuff like that. Now, I would have gave AJ Styles a 90 just to round it off. I wouldn't have, I mean, you know, they could have gave him a 90. They probably should have. But a 98, I mean, an 89, it, 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 this is how I look at it. When you get to the 80s, from, from 89 and downward, normally the top superstars will be 90, in the 90 range. So, yeah, I would say this is kind of, it should have just, I mean, it's one more point. Just give them a 90. But a lot of, a lot of people are saying, well, well, what's the big deal about the rating system? You can just go in and change it if you got the uh, decent DLC pack or something like that. I don't, I don't know if you... Remember the accelerator pack? What was that a thing anymore? The accelerator pack we used to have to get to go into settings and change the ratings of each superstar. I don't know if that's a thing anymore with 2K. Was it? I don't even know 2K22. Did we still have that? I can't even remember now. But I know in previous 2Ks we had to have the accelerator pack to go and physically change 
the superstars uh, ratings and, and changes his, his attributes. But um, a lot of people are saying, you, you just change it. What, what's the big deal? Well, there is a big deal. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit high because it shows it's presenting to the world. I mean, in my theory and the way I look at it, how 2K and the people was looking at you at that time. So a lot of people, a lot of wrestlers do kind of get a little salty, uh, sometimes rightfully so, a little upset that their ratings are so low. I think Seth Rollins was a little kind of upset how his rating was from the game. But it always, regardless, if, you know, how you think about it, it gets people talking, it pe gets people going, it, it helps promote the game talking about the ratings. So I don't see much of it. Hey, I, you know, there's going to be a lot of ratings that don't make sense, a lot of ratings that do make sense. But like I do every year, I just go in there and physically change the ratings because a lot of it don't make sense. I just like, okay. And, you know, and, and sometimes it's your pre preference. Like a lot of people, I'm an old school guy, old school wrestling. And a lot of you may not agree with me. Y'all may have heard me say this in other videos, but Goldberg, I turned his ratings all the way to 100. I remember I made a video talking about Goldberg and I took my custom sliders, my custom uh, ratings. And I, sh I told, I put Goldberg at a 100. And somebody in my comic section said, you gave Oldberg a 100 rating? And see, that's a generational thing. See, a lot of the newer guy generation don't really understand uh, what Goldberg used to do, how he used to just dominate wrestlers. And I'm going off that old Goldberg. That old Goldberg, not that old Goldberg, you know, so I, I pump his all the way to 100 certain superstars. So it's, it's just a preference anyway. You're not going to please everybody with these ratings. Just go in there and change it, uh, change it because one man's wrestler that you put up on top, the other, you know, like, nah, he's not a. So anyway, yeah, it, it, it just gets the people talking. It's really exciting uh, and it gets us one step closer to the actual release. It's part of the festivities of WWE 2K games the rating reveal hey I, I like it it's exciting i like to see it. you know i do like to see the reaction of the superstar and see how how they feel about their rating they'd be like what this a, uh, and most of the time they don't <laughs> they don't really like their rating they'd be like what did, did uh, i should be a a 90 a 99 well anyway i think uh from rumors the tribal chief roman reigns is the highest rated wrestler but we shall see all the ratings as they be revealed uh, today. Well, anyway, I'm Wacky Cat. What you think about the ratings? Uh, do you care about the ratings for real? Because to be honest with you, the ratings are the most important thing of the video game. Uh, especially now because this game is going to be have elements of tendency sliders, elements of attributes. Uh, so... Uh, if you know, it, it keeps saying this is an arcade style video game, but it's simulation in it. And the simulation in my mind has to do with the ratings. So how good your wrestler is depends on how high it's rated. So, you know, you may have an advantage over the lower rated wrestlers. So ratings are important in this game, regardless of what you think, regardless of if you feel like it don't matter. It kind of does matter. Now, it don't matter. They really don't technically matter what they are rating the guy. I mean, and just go change it. But it does matter in the end game play. Well, anyway, I'm Wacky Cat. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'm out.